Welcome to Victoria guys. <laughs> First real town we've seen since we've left apart from Robin Vale and the boat. And it's bloody freezing. Oh are you babe? What's wrong yeah. with you back there? Had enough of I've realised four and a half weeks on the road is just too long. Just too long with Kim. Yeah. Yeah, we might do a little bit of day drinking. Yeah, that's very unusual for Kimmy Russ. Yeah, she's looking at all the mini shops, man. Oh. We've done nothing today. They give me this shit. It works when you ride the bike because of oh. all the bumps. Let's make a wish. Yeah, I'll oh, fucking know if I know what I'm wishing for. <laughs> a bit of Wish. peace and quiet on my holidays. You'll shout at me if I go in there, yes. <laughs> I have to undo my belt. Why is that? It's too tight. It's too tight? What's happened on this holidays? I don't know. Just... Look at this, she's bought three bags of lollies. Caramel and guys, bags. is she not diabetic? That we are talking to a ex-fireman. You're not an ex-fireman. No. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dave. I'm a firefighter from Geelong, Leopold, down on the Ballerine. The debate still goes on about Collingwood, right? We have a Collingwood supporter, we have a no one supporter, and we have a Carlton supporter. Go fucking go, fucking fire. <laughs> you go, boys! That was me, five o'clock on the 29th of September. <laughs> and by the way, if anyone's interested, I'm, um, I'm available for weddings, parties, and funerals. <laughs> Thank you. Mate, there's a fucking yeah. curb there, you fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. Look at that, that, guys. Look at this. Stars driving down the boulevard at night Playing cool, play on repeat Watching people on the street as I go by So we were just leaving Mildura, heading down towards Swan Hill Way. So that is where we'll pick this chapter up from. So here's the Murray River again, guys, coming up to Robin Vale. Beautiful. So I think we're in Victoria again now, aren't we, babe, after we get across the other side? We are, yes. That's what we're thinking anyway. And we're exactly right, aren't we? Yep. Welcome to Victoria, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Again. 8,000, this population. 8,000, is it? Yep. Where's the main street, babe? Up further, isn't it? Not sure. Is this the one where we went down and around the roundabout? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. There were toilets down the end, I think. Not sure it is. Town centre to the left. Yep. Yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. Yeah, there's not much happening down here, is there, babe? Right. Even the bakery's not open. Uh, I remember last Sunday, that Sunday we were here. Bugger no. all open. I don't think we're getting the feed here. Robin Vale is a small town on the southern bank of the Murray River, which is surrounded on the three sides by the Meandon River, which at this point is only 61 metres above sea level. The primary appeal of this town lies in the river, which is popular for swimming, camping, picnics and, of course, fishing. The town's most distinctive feature is a huge medium strip, which is so wide they are actually broader than the roads on either side. Right, that looks like we're getting the feed, guys. Over here on the right, guys, you see all these trees. It's a big almond orchard, and I reckon it's been going for five or six kilometres. It? Yeah, it's pretty heaps of them. Yeah, probably even more actually. We're stopping just here now, but there's some trees there, I can tell you guys. 
on the way through to um, Swan Hill we are still, we just left Robinvale, oh, about 20 k's ago I guess. An absolutely massive orchard of, uh, I suppose you could call them orchard, the almonds, or the almond trees. Okay, so we've come up to um, a boundary bend. I don't know what's here in this town, but it's only a small one, whatever it is, I think, in the boat. Yep. Doesn't look well, like you it's... just missed the big servo and food and liquor on your right back there. Oh, right, well, look at the little post office here. Yep, there's not much in this town. No, you missed it all. <laughs> when you were looking over to the left. No, I've seen the servo on that. Uh, yeah, I've seen all that. I wasn't that impressed with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway. We are in the middle of nowhere at the moment, virtually. There's more almond trees everywhere there again, guys, on the right over the back of these ones. Must be good almond area, babe. Must be. I reckon they supply the whole of Australia with these almond trees. <laughs> so many of them. First real town we've seen since we've left, apart from Robinvale and about. Yeah. Not much open here. But it is a Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. It's only a little town. Petrol station, cop shop, <laughs> tractor collection, babe. Yep. You're going to put your Harley in there. You ought to go and put your Harley in there, that tractor. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Swan Hill, boys, the heart of the Murray. We are just about there, only a couple of clicks off the centre of the town. And as, as of yet, we have not stopped since we left Mildura, have had no brekkie or anything, have we, babe? No. No brunch, no nothing. And it's bloody freezing. Oh, are you, babe? What's wrong yeah. with you back there? I never, I never heard you whinging back there at all. Nah, I'm not, I'm not a whinger. <laughs> yep, okay, you've heard that, haven't you guys? <laughs> so we are, I reckon what we'll do is we'll get something to eat first and then we'll go to our motel, won't we? Alright. What do you reckon? Yeah, it is only early still guys, it's only, it's lunch time now actually, but we are able to have an early check-in. Don't know if you meant that early, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, two hours early. Okay. Well, we're going to go and find something to eat first anyway, we'll sit down for a while and before we go and log in. Oh, not log in, <laughs> bloody check-in I should say. Swan Hill used to be an historic port on the Victorian side of the Murray River. It is a substantial service centre located where the Murray meets the Hill Murray River at the eastern edge of the Valley District in northwestern Victoria. Historically, it was an important port on the Murray, but today it is a pleasant holiday destination and a service centre for the Riverina District with irrigation, ensuring reliable crops of wheat, citrus, fruit, grapes, fodder, and maize. It is a pretty town which is ideal centre of people wanting to explore this area of the Murray Valley. Where's our motel? It's back hey. up this street, isn't it? Well there's the big fish. I never actually right. yeah, I never actually set it for um our motel. The RSL's here somewhere. Yep, yep it is. We should be back up that street there, or one of these streets somewhere, shouldn't we? Okay guys, so we have a turned up our accommodation for the night in Swan Hill, haven't we babe? Yeah, the Jane Eliza. Right up the main street, isn't it? Perfect. 
This is it here. The babies are right there. We are in number four, aren't we? Yes. Hey, well, I am. I'll put Kim in and have a one tonight. I'm sick of it. <laughs> Just absolutely sick of it. Had enough of it. I've realised four and a half weeks on the road is just too long. Just too long with Kim. Yeah. In a boat. It is. is it? If anyone wants to spend the last week with him, <laughs> let us know. Uh, <laughs> let us know, guys. This is the main street of... Oh, I spy a BWS up that way, up yeah. to the left. Uh, we'll go down here first, babe, and we'll have a little... We'll just have a little look around, sure. won't we? Yeah. We have got something planned to do here in Swan Hill, so... But that's not till tomorrow, so we're just going to take it easy and relax today, aren't we? Have yeah, a bit of a look around. We'll work out where we're going to be having tea, won't we? Yeah, and we might do a little bit of day drinking. Yeah, that's very unusual for Kimmy Russ. It very is. unusual. I don't know how you guys will feel about that. There's got a vinny shop here, babe. Yeah, I know. Look. I'm going in there tomorrow. Look, there's okay. a wedding dress here. That could match. Oh. That could match your dollies. Oh, could, and the dolly could be your bridesmaid. Oh, could. Couldn't she? Yes. Oh, I like look at the way look. You It's think. not open today, sweetie. Oh, I'm looking at this Gucci bag in a thrift shop. Ah. Oh. Yeah. It's got to be real for sure, right? Eh? Ten o'clock. <laughs> what? They're going to. Please call again. They're going to open at 10 o'clock. In the morning? Yes. Okay. I know where Kimmy will be tomorrow, yeah. won't she? And look across the road. What? Oh, buddy, oh, she's looking at all the Vinnie shops, man. Oh, she's look, an Daniel. She's an absolute scab, I can tell you that right now. Look. Was that your phone, babe? Yeah. Someone's it's telling me. Us. No, I've done three out of three of my challenges. You've done nothing today. <laughs> Don't give me this shit. It works when you ride the bike because of oh. all the bumps. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm sure it does. Yeah. That's her exercise for the day, riding the bikes, guys. You reckon You reckon that's going to keep her trim taut terrific like she is? <laughs> yeah? Well, it's worked so far, hasn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, huh? I guess so. Yeah. Not many shops open here today. It is a Sunday. This is the main street here. We're just going to have a, a bow peak, aren't we? Yep. Look that, that's the town clock. So this is down the bottom end of town. It's a pretty clock. It is, isn't it, hey? There's a wishing well here. Let's make a wish. Yeah, I fucking hope I know what I'm wishing for. <laughs> a bit of <laughs> peace and quiet on me holidays. Wish for the power of good friends to make and toss a coin into charities, in for charity's sake. Ugh, it's gross. You're right? What's gross? In that, that water. Oh. Go, back, go, go. Jeez, that scared you, didn't it, Jesus. Hey? <laughs> What's that car coming? Oh, jeez, babe, I saved you. <laughs> Only one way to make her move is tell her that she's going to get run over, isn't it? Yep, I do run then. Yes. Chinese massage? Oh, ah, uh, Chinese. Happy ending? It's got a happy ending on that side? Yeah, it's flashing up there, see? Open. So it's happy ending? Yeah. <laughs> That's what happy ending massage for Rusty. Yeah, off you go. <laughs> I'll shout you. Rusty, you might get an emu. Yeah, you might too. <laughs> I'll shout you, yeah. okay? You'll shout at me <laughs> if I go in there, yes. <laughs> What's wrong? I have to undo my belt, but. Why is that? It's too tight. It's too tight? What's happened on this holidays? I don't know. Before we left, they fell down on you. Yeah. Or you mean they just come down easy? They just come down yeah. easy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was falling down, but no, no, obviously not. So this is on the other side of the street at Swan Hill. And this um, is the hospital op shop that we're going to tomorrow. All proceeds go she's to the done, local hospital. She's done nothing but look at hospital, uh, no, not hospital, at um, op shops, haven't you? Yeah. Fair the best. I love op shopping. <sighs> and what's she got? Look at this. She's bought three bags of lollies. Caramel and guys, bones. is she not diabetic? Jelly beans, guys, they're mine. Is she diabetic? And Pineapple. Are they, is she diabetic? I am. Yeah. But I so do need jelly why beans. Why is it now, because she's been pronounced diabetic? She likes to eat lollies all the time. Yep. Hey? But it's for my low <laughs> blood sugar. I don't think it ever gets that fucking low no more, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it does, don't think. I think it gets high, it don't get low. I feel I'm getting low now. I need some lollies. Oh, Jesus. Until you unplug that. What? Right, now there's audio. All right. Okay, I'll start again, people. These, these wireless mics are not, that's why I asked. Are I don't you have wearing it. a mic? No. And she wasn't? 
and she's got that plugged in, so it's not picking nothing. So up. I was just telling the people, <laughs> right, that we are talking to a ex-fireman. No, not an ex-fireman. No. I am a firefighter. Oh, he's a firefighter. A fireman is someone on a train that shovels coal. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dave. I'm a firefighter from Geelong, Leopold, down on the Ballerine. I've come up here to Swan Hill and I'm running a HSR training session. Um, really, really good training session. And I've just happened to come across these two fine people. Well, fine. One of them's okay. <laughs> the other one, well, sort of sus us. Anyway, for, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the view you get. And please stay safe. Who do you barrack yes. for, Dave? I don't. Oh, well, oh sensible to... man. He doesn't oh, barrack for anybody. Body. Man, until, you're with me. Um, until they kept. Um, reappointing Buckley. Ah! Oh. Buckley, Buckley is not a coach's arsehole. Nah, yeah. He got a good team and he drove it into the ground. If you watch the media conferences after the games, um, Mr. Buckley, can you tell us why you lost today? Oh, the team weren't following the game plan. The following week, on the, the team, team weren't following oh, the game plan. Okay. The following the week, they weren't following yeah. the game plan. And one reporter actually got the guts up and he said, um, Mr. Buckley, what you've said this for quite a few conferences. The team aren't following the game plan, so what are you going to do about that? Well, I remember and once... he shot the reporter down. No. He didn't give the reporter a chance for anything else. He shot him down. I remember there was one reporter once said, does the team know what the game plan is? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they said to Buckley, the but reporter. He, he got a good team and he drove it into the ground. Yeah. In the meantime, guys, if anybody's interested in health and safety, look, <laughs> Please feel free to look it up. We're very, very keen on training more people up. So please feel free, check it out and get yourselves trained up. One, in first aid. Two, in health and safety. You can never go wrong. Yes. Wait till Big Bert gets hold of this. Oh, Back Bert. in Tassie. Big, Big Bert, Bert will eat your heart this. out. <laughs> he will love it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. We'll come back to you later. So, the debate still goes on about Collingwood, right? We have a Collingwood supporter, we have a no one supporter, and we have a Carlton supporter. Right, so let's go and have a look. So we've got another one here joining this debate. So who do you Hello. vote for? Collingwood. Collingwood? Oh, of course okay. he does. Look at the hat. Oh, fuck it, go, fuck it, pie. <laughs> you go, pie! That was me, five o'clock on the 29th of September. <laughs> that was me, too. Oh, they won a premiership in September, <laughs> not October. <laughs> well, actually, so yeah, well, it was a week late. One. That one in October was a week late, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, my God. And here I was saying he was a Carlton supporter, <laughs> but he's calling He's calling And, Collingwood. and <laughs> by the way, if anyone's interested, I'm, um, I'm available for weddings, parties, and funerals. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Weddings, partings and everything. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. And what a nice morning we have here in Swan Hill, in the bay. Yeah. Hey, we are about to get run over here in a sec. Mm -hmm. But don't worry about it, guys. Mate, there's oh, a fucking yeah. curb there, you fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. Look at that, guys. Look at this. Fucking, he did not even see that. He was looking at us and just kept on going. Oh, tell you. It could have been us. Uh, could have been us. Too busy bloody looking at the camera here and that. But anyway, we're in Swan Hill and we're going to go and do a couple of things. Here is the big mouth. Kimmy! <laughs> <laughs> it's Kimmy, isn't it? Nah, nah, that caught the mouth's not as big, mate. Not as big as Kimmy's. No, it isn't. Mine's a lot bigger. I'll stand next to it and get Oh, in. look out, mate. <laughs> Alright, let's go, babe. So there's the giant cod. Let's go, babe. We have seen giant, the giant cod before, but I tell you what, it's all overgrown here to what it used to be. Oh, oh, I'm pretty sure it wasn't this um, overgrown before. Look at that. A giant Murray cod outside the train station of Swan Hill is a monument to the big codfish that have been caught in the river before irrigation and drought affected the river. Murray cod is still present in the river today, but not at the same numbers and sizes than it has been reported earlier in European settlement. The fish is 11 metres in length and 6 metres wide. It was actually built as a movie prop for a film called Eight Ball, and the locals liked it so much and found a home for it. 
Not bad, eh? Plants. The giant Murray cod. Just plants. Bloody idiots, I tell you. That driver hopped out, had to have a look to see what he ran over. It was only a fucking traffic island. <laughs> it's only a traffic island, wasn't it? It was lucky his vehicle was a high vehicle because he, ne he nearly bottomed out as it was. Anyway, we're going to head down to the Pioneer village, aren't we, both? Yep. And we're going to have a look around. So we'll catch you down there. So we found the Pioneer village, haven't we, sweetie? Yep. We've only walked a kilometre. Yeah. That's the old Paddlestone with Jem. She just sits there now and she doesn't go anywhere. But this is where we're going along here. In a boat. And over that fence there. See where it says entrance? That's where we've got to go. Yes. OK. They're coming out of that big boat. Yeah, you can go in there and have a look, babe. Oh, cool. Yes. They're taking it for a spin. <laughs> no, true story, babe. I'll be in the cockpit. <laughs> cockpit. <laughs> Some days you'll realise it's the helm. Up at the helm. Anyway, not to worry. Kimmy will learn. Yes, I will. She won't remember, but she will learn. <laughs> Beautiful surroundings here, isn't it, guys? OK, so we've got our tickets, $33 each in the boat. Yep. And they do last for two days, though. We're only here for a day, though. Now my wheel's in motion and 